Okay, so from why am I yelling? Ain't nobody but I nah. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Choi John. If you guys are new, welcome. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a drugstore makeup look. So all the products that I'm going to be using are from like my local drugstores. So they're either from Shoppers Drug Mart or Walmart. Those are the two places I want to get all the products that I used in this video. So if you guys want to see how I created this look, go ahead and continue watching. Okay, so I just went ahead and did my eyebrows off camera. So what I use to do my brows is just this brown brow pencil. It's the same one that I used to line my lips and it's from the beauty supply store. Uh, before I actually outlined my brows, what I did first was actually take the Benefit, hold on. I took the Benefit 24 hour, 24 hour brow setter just to gel my like eyebrows like in place and like hold them down. So yeah, I attempted to like do my eyebrows on camera first. I just did not like how it looked. So I just said, no, we're not gonna put it in there. We're just gonna start with the brows first. We're gonna start off with eyes. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just prime my eyes with some concealer. And the concealer I'm using is L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear um, Concealer. And this is in the color uh, Espresso, so 445. This is the shade. So today for eyeshadow, I think I'm going to be doing a smoky look. I'm going to reach into my Makeup Revolution Reloaded Marvelous Matte Palette. So this right here. I'm going to be doing, I think I'm going to do like a smoky eye. So I'm just going to take this brownish, purplish color. This color right, right. Right there. And I'm just gonna put it all over my lid. I'm just using that as my first color. I feel like I need a bigger, fluffier brush. Yeah, I'm gonna transition. With that same brush that I used earlier, I'm just going to be taking this, that orange color. I don't know if you guys can actually see this orange color right here. I'm going to be taking it. I'm putting it on my crease a little. I don't like how this palette doesn't have like a nice dark brown. Honestly, I just always use a brown as my transition color. I feel like you can't go wrong. Okay, then I'm gonna take this grayish blackish color right here. And that's what I'm gonna use to smoke out the eye. I'm just gonna put it Right there, kind of where the crease is. I don't even know if that's the right terminology, so I definitely think that this black can be darker. Unless it's supposed to come off gray. I don't know. Maybe it's a gray. Yeah, maybe it's a gray. I don't know if I should do a little glitter or if I'm going to be pushing it. Because the only thing is, I don't know how my foundation is going to turn out. I'm not like the biggest fan of drugstore foundation. So I feel like if I add this, like I'm going to look crazy. Because my eyes might be too bright. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, I'm going to do it. I'm going to add some glitter. So I'm just going to use the Hard Candy Glit Glitter Rotsy. <laughs> the Hard Candy Glitter Rotsy. It's gold and silver. And I'm going to be taking the silver side. And I'm going to try to do a little, you know, maybe a little chob. See how it turns out. It's 
See, I have to commit. I have to put it on all of it. Because. Okay. I like it just like that. That's better. I was trying to be messy. I'm gonna prime my face with the e.l.f. Hydrating Face Primer. Oh, I should zoom you guys out. Okay, I'm gonna zoom you guys out after I finish applying this. For foundation, I'm gonna be using the L'Oreal True Match. And I'm going to be taking two shades and blending them together. So I'm going to be taking C12, which is like the darkest shade, this one right here, and C10, which is Espresso, and just mixing them together. Because I feel like if I use this alone, it's going to be uh, a little bit too dark for me. And if I use this one by itself, as you can tell, it's going to be way too light for me. So I'm just going to go ahead and mix the two. That's what it looks like. I'm just going to go ahead and mix the two. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit more of the. Oh my god, I put so much! Did you scream? Yeah, I think that's okay. Okay, I think that's enough. I put, I mix so much in my hand. Holy. I'm not centered. I'm so sorry, guys. Hold on. Store. So I'm gonna take my real technique sponge and blend it. What do you guys think? I think it's a good match. Do we approve? Hmm. I feel like it matches actually very well. For concealer, I'm gonna be using the same concealer that I use for my brows, which is a L'Oreal Infallible. The other side of the be uh, beauty sponge, I'm just gonna blend out the concealer. When I was like scrambling to find all these like drugstore like products, you guys, I honestly couldn't be bothered. Like, I kind of was expecting to go in and just be able to like find like something right away, but it was the fact that I had to like really look, and I didn't even, I didn't, I didn't like what I was seeing, you know. So it made it so much harder. And I was really unimpressed. And it just took me, like some of the products I already had, but like a couple of them I have to go out and buy. Like this concealer that I'm using right now, like I just don't like it. Yeah, like I just don't, I don't like it. But for some reason at the drugstores, like there, this was like the darkest, or like, yeah, the darkest, like creamiest concealer that I could find that would that would like flatter my skin if that makes sense like I like finding concealer in drugstores mission like it's literally a mission it gave me very anti didn't want to say it but very anti-black vibes like why are they not on your shelves it's like I would have to go online to actually order them but it's like they should be on your shelves like who do you think is coming to buy drugstore makeup like you don't think that dark skin women are gonna come not even just women, but just like dark skin folks are gonna come and try to find shades like for their skin, like for their skin tone, and it's not there. Like they have to go the extra mile to go online to actually order the products. Even though you have them, you just don't wanna put them in stores. Like who do you think your demographic is? But yeah, I didn't like that at all. And even besides that, 
I feel like it's just not doing it for me. I remember when I first started getting into makeup, I don't know what foundation this was, but I promise you every single black girl had it. It didn't matter what shade you were. Everyone used this foundation. Like it was like the only drugstore foundation that you could even actually pull off like for like dark skin, like black girls, I guess you could say. I'm pretty sure, I don't know if it was L'Oreal, L'Oreal or Maybelline who had it, but I swear you guys, let me know if you guys know what, what I'm talking about. It was like my first foundation that I ever started using and it was way too freaking light for me, but the way I forced it, like I didn't care. And I knew every other Sunni's girl was forcing that foundation too, because it was the only thing that like, at the age of like, what, 14 that we could afford and actually buy was horrendous like it was so bad like when I look back at photos I don't even know what I was thinking but you know I wanted to I wanted to be to make up so bad like I didn't care you see that hyper pigmentation you see how it's literally black and it looks like I have a mustache I don't know if I actually have one or if it's just a pigment I'm a little bit scared I stopped putting concealer on it like the past couple times I've like worn makeup now because I feel like I just like it better without concealer because when I put concealer on, it like creases up and you can always see like the darkness, like literally trying to like poke through my concealer. Even when I put um, like setting powder and like everything on it, you can still see it. For setting powders, I have two. I have the Maybelline Fit Me and the L'Oreal Infallible. I've never used either or, so I don't even know what they're gonna look like on me. I feel like I should use the L'Oreal Infallible one just because I used the L'Oreal concealer. So I feel like I shouldn't mix and match just because I don't know how it's gonna react. So yeah, I'm gonna use the L'Oreal. It's tiny. And when did drugstore prices just like skyrocket? Because <laughs> you guys, I'm the cheapest person too. But when I went in and like, I literally bought like four products, maybe. Why was my bill like almost like 80? Is that good or am I cheap? Because no, that's, that's crazy. Like that's, is it not supposed to be affordable? Like, is that affordable? Four products for $80 for makeup? But then I don't mind going hard at Sephora. Maybe because I know like the quality of Sephora or like what products I buy at Sephora are gonna be like a lot better. Or maybe that's just what I think, I don't know. But I was really pressed like having to actually <laughs> spend that much. I don't know how much I thought it was gonna be. I don't know if I thought it was gonna be like $30 for four. I I don't know what I was expecting, but I just know that I left the store really hurt. <laughs> it's not bad. I don't mind it. Yeah. It's actually not bad. My expectations for it were, were so low. I was really expecting the worst of the worst. I feel like every time I match my foundation to my neck, I never like how my makeup turns out. I don't know if it's just because I'm not used to it or if the foundation really isn't for me. But for this one, I'm actually not minding it. Cause I feel like most foundations that are like um, dark enough to like match my neck, I feel like they're always very like dull and like not lively. I don't know if that makes sense, but I always feel like I look so dead every time like I decide to use like a darker foundation. But I feel like the mix that I just did right now, like it's not too bad. I feel like I'm still pretty radiant. Yeah. I'm not going to include it in the clip, but I'm just going to take my Fenty like eyeshadow, dip into the brown um, shade and use that to set my concealer because I just have to do it. I'm not going to include it just because it's not drugstore, 
but I'm just letting you guys know that I'm gonna be using it. For blush, I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Fit Me, and this is in the color, can't even pronounce, oh, I thought the French part was the name. The color is in Berry, too bright, like that's not what it actually looks like in person. Like it's more like purplish, uh, pinkish. Yeah, it's not actually capturing. Okay, whatever. Sorry guys. But yeah, this is in the shade Bury Me. And it has like a slight shimmer to it. Very subtle. With the same eyebrow pencil, I'm just gonna go ahead and line my lips. Taking my e.l.f. lip plumping gloss. Taking another gloss, the L'Oreal Stay Gloss, no, Rimmel, Rimmel London Stay Glossy. Alrighty, so I'm not going to set my face yet just because I, mm, or should I just set my face now? You know what? Never mind. I'm gonna go ahead and set my face now. So I'm gonna be taking the NYX Dewy Finish. Y'all know the drill. This is like my favorite drugstore um, setting spray. Can never be shy when it comes to setting spray. Do your thing. Go off. No such thing as too much, I swear. Okay, so that's it. I'm just gonna go ahead and put on my lashes off camera. Put on some eyeshadow on my bottom um, lash line, do my hair, change my shirt, and I'm gonna come back and like see how everything looks when it's more put together. I'm gonna see if I'm liking the vibe, if drugstore maybe is a new, you know, ish, am I gonna switch over? So yeah, I'll see you guys once I'm all put together. You guys, this look turned out so pretty. Wow, this look turned out so good. All I did off camera was just put on my Ardell Wispy Lashes. I don't know if you guys can see that. And put some Master Chrome highlight on the tip of my nose. That was pretty much it. I can't even speak. I feel like I'm just going to let you guys stare at me. I feel like it looks so good. Okay, I want to say that all the products that I use will be linked below. But honestly, I'm getting a little bit tired of doing that. Just because it takes, it takes so much effort having to find the products online and like copy and paste them in the description. I'm not even sure if people are actually using... The links that like I'm putting there so I think I'm just gonna stop putting the products in the, in the description for, like for a little bit if you guys have questions or want to know what shade I was using in a certain product or if, like if you didn't catch the name of the product then comment on it below and I'll just like let you guys know the name or the shade if you guys didn't catch it did you guys think the look was gonna turn out this good because <laughs> I did it I think it's the hair I don't know something's like really selling it make sure that you guys like comment and subscribe on this video you guys i'm really trying to get to 200 subscribers at the end of this month so by september i'm trying to have hit 200 please subscribe to my channel if you guys are watching this and you're not already subscribed if you already are subscribed please share my videos if you like my content to your friends and you know just help me out to get new subscribers it would really mean a lot to me i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i'll see you guys next time bye guys